My name is Andy Martinez, and my project is an overview of the Genomus virgins endemic. Now, hearing that title might instill fear within anyone, really, um, because no one knows what a Genomus virgins is. You wouldn't really know unless you were an expert in the field. Genomus virgins is basically just an invasive jellyfish species. I'm going to be referring to them as clinging jellyfish, seeing as that's their common name. Um, the reason it's an endemic is because of three main issues. People tend to think it's only one, but it's really three. Uh, the first one is the obvious one, the environmental and ecological issue that it poses. You know, invasive species tend to outcompete native ones because there are no natural predators for these invasive species, causing them to increase and experience exponential growth, whereas the native ones just die off. So we see how it can affect an ecosystem. And an ecosystem requires balance. Let's say in Africa, uh, all the lions died out. If all the lions died out, all the gazelles would just overpopulate. And these uh, gazelles would start eating the grasses and the bushes, resulting in no grasses or bushes like anywhere. And they're critical to an ecosystem because they're a primary producer, meaning every organism in that ecosystem depends on those grasses or bushes in one way or another, whether it be the gazelles directly that eat that um, eat the grasses and bushes or animals that eat the gazelles, like um, wild dogs or uh, jackals. Um, the third issue, which uh, the second issue, excuse me, that uh, tends not to get tends to not get uh, public attention is the health risk it poses. If uh, the clinging jellyfish is about this big, the size of a dime, really, uh, you're not going to see it in the water. If we're being honest. But don't let the size fool you. The sting necessitates a visit to the emergency room. Um, the at first the sting may feel uh, like a little like it's obviously gonna hurt. However, it's not gonna be that bad. Like you can function, you can go on with your day. However, as time progresses, the pain gets progressively worse, and you start experiencing muscles muscle cramps, um, a, ch a chest tightness, um, and it absolutely requires. Um, an emergency room visit. But the third issue, which no one really talks about, is the economics of it. Invasive species in general cost Americans a hundred billion dollars per year. That's a good chunk of everyone's paycheck taken out. Um, just because we're dealing with invasive species, that money could be better spent on other things if we just solve the invasive species epidemic or pandemic, really. But in this case, it's an endemic because it's in New Jersey. Um, we're basically just in this uh, in this project. We're investigating the health risk, or we're trying to solve it, or have a band aid solution. Why do I call it a band aid solution? It's because when you get a cut, you put a band aid on it. Is it a permanent solution? No, but it's something that you put on in the meantime while it heals, which is the, obviously the permanent solution. So the same concept can be applied to my project. It is not a definitive solution. We're not solving the genomus virgins or clean jellyfish endemic um instead we're trying to say hey um public it's dangerous to go into the waters within this time period because you could potentially get stung and we're trying to minimize the amount of stings with my project and my project is basically seeing at what temperature do genomus virgins die off you know like when would it be safe in the summer to go swimming um, we found that uh, around the end of August is safe when the waters are at their peak, really. Um, and the reason this project is innovative and new is because no one is talking about um, invasive species. And obviously they're talking about the ecological and environmental risks, but they don't talk about the safety risks or the economics of it, which I feel like applies to everyone. Everyone hates getting a chunk of their paycheck taken out because of taxes. Um, we could minimize taxes just by removing invasive species in general. And I feel like this needs to be heard because everyone says, oh yeah, invasive species, whatever. You know, because realistically, the environment or the ecosystem might not be your priority. But economics, again, applies to everyone. And I feel like this project can get everyone on board if they realize just how expansive invasive species are like how big of an issue it is 
Uh, um, again, the key result is end of August. That's ideally when you want to go into the water because it's safest there, it's safest at that time period because all the clinging jellyfish have died off for the most part at that temperature, um, which is about like 28 degrees Celsius. However, that is fairly hot. <laughs> People normally don't swim in 28 degrees Celsius water. Um, so we're doing further research this summer. We're gonna collect plankton toes, which is basically where you get a fine net with fine meshing and then you run it through some water and in hopes in hopes of getting um zooplankton which are basically um small organisms that live in the water and we're going to count them and find the densities of certain organisms and see if there's a direct link between uh clinging jellyfish population size and maybe a predator of genomus virtins because genomus virtins gets eaten by um, comb jellyfish and sea slugs. So we want to see if there are more sea slugs or comb jellyfish in a certain area. Does that mean that there are less um, clinging jellyfish? Or maybe if there are less of the clinging jellyfish's prey, does that mean there are less clinging jellyfish within that area? So clinging jellyfish tend to eat amphipods. And we want to see if a location with low amphipod population results in a, a location with low genomus vertens um, population size. And that's really the future research. So this project, this current project, focused on when you could go into the water. You know, what time frame is it okay to get into the water? Next summer, we're going to be investigating where is it safe to go into the water. So we're improving this data while we can think of a solution a definitive solution to solve the genomus virtins endemic, which is more expansive. The issue is more expansive than just an ecosystem slash environmental um, problem. It also poses a safety risk to all humans in general. And it take it's an economic issue.